Hey folks, welcome back. Alright, so what looks good for me? These all look kind of... Uh, I guess I like this one. Alright. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Yeah. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. Are you kidding me? That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. Hmm. The gentleman will rehearse. I was kind of, uh... Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Um. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate type. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. I read an interesting thing that, uh, the reason... was it... Were these how the towers normally go up? It was something that it was easier to fight. Yeah, um, it's easier to fight if you're right-handed coming like that, uh, right? Because you, you've got your sword hand here, and so you're going down. But if someone coming up, they're, they've got to contend with a wall at their side where you have an opening there. I thought that was kind of a neat... Thing. I'm, I'm almost positive that was it. In Grimmy at Art Kerzer, Dyfen Aden in Karn Eb Marvut, Emir Var Emreis. Wow. <laughs> I'll give a bow. I'm not trying to cause an incident here. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favort. Hi, buddy. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. Ha! Huh. My daughter, Cyrilla. She's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I'd drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. 
How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. Really? So fucking ig me this guy and be done with it. The gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts. Need not bother. <laughs> I can do that, you know. Need to be a Calm yourself. What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herivard II, Prince of Elanda. Not only am yeah. I made to wait here like some uh, nee. supplicant. Rad Sleeton, eh, enekt, estun, es saur an nee. I am a little bit shy to, like, loot chests and shit. After Nilfgaard already assaulted me once. A deserter from the Skoy Step on the flowers. <laughs> Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Yes, then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not. Yen! Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. Huh. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm hmm And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Hmm. So they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice, so please. Let's not belabor the pros and cons, and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe, before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it. Perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You no. must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. 
As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So where's Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Oh. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently. Blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yeah, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? <laughs> Let's drop it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Wow. All right. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vel and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. So who do I gotta talk to? Whoa! Um... Ow! Scars healed nicely. Uh... Oh, is... Uh, thank you for giving me for not answering your earlier attempt. Delighted you have found a position with the Gracious Emperor's Court. Alright. Sponge so first quiet. I can state beyond all doubt that Ciri has not appeared anywhere south of Yaruga. Believe me, I could recognize her magic signature in my sleep. Uh, thank you for the news about Carol. He always seems to land on his feet, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he does. I don't know if I need to read every book. Oh! Oh, a smoking pipe. I just figure it's probably going to be like Skyrim books. Ambassador, oh. Ambassador Varatra, Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events. The war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. Okay. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edurn was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained. 
and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Unprecedented, even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now. Until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Amir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm hmm So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is. And Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well. Avoid him. Ha! Huh. Looks like I'll be meeting him. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here, in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships. Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is... rather... well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skelliger has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Alright. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Hmm. Ah. ah! He bored me. 
how might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Hmm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. Back to where we were. That's better. Oh, is this a questicle? Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Let's see if I can Gwent it up, guys. Yeah, I think we know. All right. I. Um. Yes. I can't be like the Scoia'tael no. So I, I'd have to go with this. All right. Poor fucking infantry. Oh wait, am I... is this... Oh shit, I was going backwards. Let's see if I can, uh... Wait, isn't that... Let's throw Chicky out. do? Pick an impenetrable fog card from your deck and play it instantly. That, that's not what I... Fuck! God damn it! Let's just go with... I'm just gonna pass at this point. They use some big cards against me.
<laughs> Aim for the cock. Fuck, they got another one of them? What does that do? That's kind of a mistake since... do this. So I, I think we just have to kind of go for broke here. Jesus Christ, why aren't their guys so much better? the game. Jesus Christ. Well, I got my ass handed to me. Eat a dick, Nilf Guardian. <laughs> I should go back to fighting shit. Uh, to switch the continent view? All right, yeah. Oh my god! Um... I guess we're going here. Something even more important happened in Bezima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her, at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Valen. Northern Timeria. Wow, five days to get there. Those are just scarecrows, it's okay. They're not real people. You know, someone had to bring them up to that top branch. I mean, this this is actually fairly impressive. Or at least haul them up like that. Thank you for purchasing the Hearts of Stone expansion. Uh, at least level 30. Well... I don't think those are for me. Hello, puppies. I just want to get back into fighting again. You understand. All right. Come on, Roach. How big is this map? Uh, large. Okay, so that's how they're doing this game, as opposed to one giant map. Uh, it appears to be sectioned off in this game. Okay. Ah. Sorry, Roach. I thought you could jump, but... kind of do want to... Oh. Actually, folks, this is probably a pretty good place to cut. 
Um, let's talk to this guy. What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Oh? Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Yes. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Alright, folks. Well, as always, thanks for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching, everybody.